We're not playing today. It's seven days until the trade deadline prime. So let's bring in our newsman right off the top, Mike Garofolo, fresh off of Monday Night Football. We've got a big trade. What can you tell us? Eli Apple barely got home to New Jersey when the Giants traded him from uh, there to the Saints. Fourth round pick, seventh rounder coming back to the Giants for a number 10 overall pick from a couple of years ago who never panned out. And there were issues with Apple toward the coaching staff last year. He was barking at guys both during games and during practices. And the new Giants regime, Dave Gettleman, Pat Shermer, they gave him a fresh start, but Prime, I saw him in that game against the Eagles. All of a sudden, more of the same. He's yelling at staffers on the sideline. I said, oh boy, I wonder what this is going to mean for Eli Apple. We found out today, finally shipped out from the Giants, headed to New Orleans to help their depleted secondary. Do you know how much I love Sean Payton, Drew Brees, and that entire team, especially those two running backs of the Saints, and I feel like they have the intangibles to win it all, and all they needed was a darn corner? Man, this is New Orleans. They don't need no Apple. They need some peas in the gumbo, baby. They need two <laughs> peas in the gumbo. That's Patrick Peterson. You got the corner, but you got the wrong darn one. I like Eli Apple, but darn it, I don't love him. I do not love him as a cornerback. And I feel like this team is one cornerback away, one leader away, one big play possibility away from getting to the dance, man. I don't like this whatsoever.